Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey, have you guys downloaded the uh, Chris Perilla widget yet? KTech made a widget. Type in what is widget? Did you guys download it? It's a just a small little program that runs on your desktop so that you don't have to come to the web page. You can just always have the live video feed and chat scrolling up in this nice little window here. And it's free. It's really nice. It runs on Windows. It's pretty cool. Someone's going to be developing one for OS X, I hope, so that people who are using the Mac can also have a Chris Perillo live feed widget with our uh, Flash IRC as well. And then I think someone has also done one for the Windows sidebar, which is another widget platform. No one's done one for Yahoo yet, and I'm pretty sure no one's done for the Google desktop either. Widgets, gadgets, gizmos. Oh, my God. Oh, it's insane. Well, what are these little widgets? Uh, I guess it's a... a Think of them as mini, M-I-N-I, -I, small applications that sit on your desktop and do one thing or another. Uh, and the whole craze started a few years ago with a program known as Confabulator that was originally just ran on OS X, but then they uh, made a Windows version as well. That was then purchased by Yahoo and then rebranded as Yahoo Widgets, I think. Ponzi uses Yahoo widgets on her desktop, and then she's got like a weather widget and a time widget and a currency calculator widget and a stocks widget. Well, not to be left out, uh, Apple decided to relieve their... Uh, or to release their dashboard, uh, which is accessible by hitting F12 on your Mac, and then it pops up all these little widgets you can add and all these... Or are they gadgets? No, they're widgets. They're gadgets. Uh, um, some people call them gadgets, some people call them widgets. Microsoft calls them gadgets. In Windows Vista, you can have the sidebar and have gadgets and then, and then do very similar things like watch the weather or uh, download stocks or you know all these common simple things that are just much nicer uh, than just pulling up a web page to look at information. So that way you could have these widgets, these gadgets, these micro tools sitting on your desktop at all times. Which is the best platform? I don't know, it kind of depends. Now if you've got Windows Vista, I say, yeah, the Windows Vista sidebar is fine. The problem is, is that a lot of people developing Windows Vista sidebar gadgets suck. <laughs> they, they suck in comparison. Everything, by the way, sucks in comparison to OS X's dashboard. Just because on an Apple, uh, design is like inherent in anything. You can't make something look like junk on OS X. Uh, but barring that, uh, I think the, the one widget platform that, that beats out uh, Microsoft in terms of junky user interface would have to be the Google Desktop. Uh, Yahoo actually has a pretty decent experience and that, as I said before, is what Ponzi's running on her desktop. She just has Windows XP. Even if she had Vista, I'd still recommend uh, the Yahoo platform, uh, if only because I think the widgets, or these gadgets, or these whatever you want to call them, are just designed better. And, you know, it, it's less about the platform and more about, you know, looking at something that's aesthetically pleasing, at least to me. It's more about form uh, and function and not just function inherently. By the way, uh, browsers like Opera have widget functionality baked right in. It's kind of cool. Opera's actually done a pretty good job at, at being a comprehensive browser uh, for a majority of users. Unfortunately, it has you know little market share at, at this point. Maybe that's going to change over time. I don't know. But it's, it's, it's in terms of power usability, you know, uh, Opera delivers something really, really nice. BitTorrent, RSS, widgets. Um, you know, obviously it serves up web pages and pretty quickly, might I add. Most people have gone with Firefox just because it's got the open source thing going for it, I think. Um, I don't think Firefox has widgets or gadgets at this point, but I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in the future uh, they had widgets or gadgets. I don't know. Well, as I started out this... Uh, Cut, that's a wrap. Uh, as I started out this particular video with uh, someone from our chat room, KTech, uh, who's been a regular, gosh, pretty much since we started streaming live, uh, made a Windows application. It's separate. You don't need a platform, but it allows you to run our live Ustream uh, video window inside a window on your Windows desktop, and you can actually edit it. It's a simple file uh, that you can download and install, and you can edit how it looks, and, and it, it, as long as you're geeky, you could get in, you can dig in and, and change a few things things about how the interface works. Plus, we just released a, uh, it's in beta right now, but a, f a Flash version of our IRC chat room and Flash applets can easily be embedded and used just about anywhere that you can view Flash, which is just about everywhere. What's your favorite widget platform, gadget platform, whatever you call those things? And more importantly, have you ever developed any? 
And then beyond that, uh, you know, what's your favorite widget? What's your favorite gadget? Who's your favorite Gidget? Gidget? No, I don't think they've made a gadget for Gidget. Maybe they made a widget for Wadget, though. I maybe for we need a wicket for a Wadget, Gidget, gadget. 